Science fiction is full of warnings about what happens when human beings and technology become meshed together. You only have to look at the Borg in Star Trek and the Cybermen in Doctor Who to know that. In reality, though, cybernetic technology and prosthetics are helping people with injuries and missing limbs to live full and active lives. Thanks to the modern wonder of 3D printing, we are entering into an exciting new era when it comes to prosthetics, as you're about to find out in this video. In Vietnam, a 3D printed arm is helping Lieutenant Dinh Van Dong put his life back together after a plane crash in 2014, of which he was the only survivor. The company 3D Master are behind the lieutenant's new limb, which does far more than fill the space where his arm used to be. Thanks to cutting-edge mechanical innovation, the hand attachment on the end of the arm has fingers, which can be moved just by Van Dong thinking about it. Right now, only two of the fingers move in this manner, but it's hoped that the device will soon be sophisticated enough to allow for all five to be moved, just as they would in a human hand. Because he can now take care of basic tasks like pouring a drink of water, he's regained some of the independence he lost because of the accident, and so relies less on his family. The arm is connected directly to his brain, and so when his brain gives a signal to move the hand, the signal is picked up by a sensor and controls an electric motor. When a child loses a hand, it's arguably more tragic than when it happens to an adult. It also poses a difficult problem. Even if an expensive prosthetic device can be acquired, the child will soon outgrow it and require another one, which would involve great cost. 3D printing is helping to solve this problem. This boy named Liam was five when he received his first robotic prosthesis, little knowing that the prototype he was wearing would go on to be the template for hundreds more people around the world. The first device fitted to the South African boy was ugly and heavy, but it worked. It's since been refined by redesign after redesign, with scans of Liam's hand being fed into a 3D printer to produce a device which is perfectly sculpted to the size he requires. Had Liam not agreed to be the guinea pig for multiple uncomfortable test models of the device before a smoother, sleeker design style could be identified, the advancements would not be possible. Thank you, Liam! In the past, prosthetic devices have been difficult to acquire because of their level of complexity and their expense. That meant life as a disabled person in a third world country might be harder than it is elsewhere. Inspiring initiatives like Project Daniel are trying to change that. Daniel Omar lost both arms at the age of only 14 when his village in Sudan was bombed. A scientific charity group called Not Impossible heard Daniel's story and decided to help him. Because the average cost of a normal prosthetic arm in Sudan is around $10,000, very few people get the help they need and deserve. The 3D printed alternatives supplied by Not Impossible cost only $100 and therefore opens up new possibilities in countries where economic conditions are difficult. Once Daniel's prosthetics had been successfully fitted, the team spent time in his village training local doctors on how to print the devices and how to fit them. They're now regularly printing their arms without any help from Not Impossible. The injuries suffered by American Cameron Underwood when he attempted to end his own life in 2016 were truly horrific. He survived the self-inflicted gunshot wound to the face, but was left severely disfigured. Now, thanks to a combination of 3D printing technology and a suitable donor being found, he's leading a whole new life after a face transplant. In a grueling 25-hour surgery, which involved over 100 medical professionals, Cameron received 3D printed replacements for parts of his nose and his lower jaw, and a 3D printed donor facial mask, which was taken from a 23-year-old who'd recently passed away in an accident. That makes it the most technologically advanced face transplant carried out to date, and also the fastest. Most people needing a face transplant are left waiting 10 years for a donor to appear. Cameron found his only 18 months after suffering his injuries. Even the roof and lower floor of his mouth have been reconstructed, as well as his tongue and eyelids. He's now vowed to honor the donor by living a full and productive life. The invention of 3D printers may be giving rise to a new creative movement that nobody had previously thought of. Prosthetic art. 
because 3D printing means that devices can be printed within the comfort of your own home, why not customize them and give them a little flair which matches your personality? That's the theory Natasha Hope Simpson has gone with, and she is making it work! Natasha lost both of her legs in a car crash in 2013 and didn't like the design of her first prosthetic because it was heavy and unfeminine. She consulted with Thinking Robotic Studies, who worked together with her to create something more in line with her hopes. As an art student, she had plenty of ideas to share with them. Having now finalized her design, she can print new prosthetics whenever she wants them, with many different patterns on the side. Her legs are now so convincing that she once got into an argument with someone about an accessible parking space because they didn't believe she was disabled. Blending art and prosthetics together is also the ambition of a new team from the University of Central Florida in America, who have set up the group Limitless Solutions in the hope that it will become a global resource for 3D printed medical aids. Their first patient was six-year-old Alex Pring, who was born without a fully formed right arm. After designing Alex's arm using the university's 3D printer, incurring around $300 in expenses, they put the blueprint online so anybody else can use it. They're now getting requests from everywhere in the world and were able to make a special gift for 12-year-old Wyatt Fallardu, who is a big fan of the Blue Man Group. When the Blue Man Group heard about it, they teamed up with Limitless to create a special blue prosthetic for the thrilled child. Limitless continue to print limbs free of charge, staying true to their belief that no family should be forced to pay for a prosthetic limb for their children. Corey Simon is another lucky recipient of an arm from Limitless Solutions, and according to the people who make them, his is the most advanced bionic arm they've come up with so far. 14-year-old Corey is an active child, so much so that he's won fencing competitions at local and state level despite being born without a right hand. And so a basic prosthetic would never have been enough for him. His new limitless hand has five working fingers, all of which are triggered by Corey moving the muscles in his arms. It took Corey a while to be able to use it with precision, but now it feels as natural as his left hand. With his old prosthetic, he was unable to even hold a pencil. Now he can write. The ambitious youngster has a new ambition in mind now that he has the use of two hands. He wants to learn how to play the cello. Based on his positive attitude and his achievements in life so far, we feel sure he'll do it. Nicholas Hutchett was an 18-year-old training for a career as a mechanic when he lost his right hand in an accident back in 2002. He was fitted with an electronic prosthetic hand, but it offered him low functionality and he found it was cumbersome. When better models became available 10 years later, he couldn't afford one, and the French welfare system wouldn't cover the cost. Instead of accepting defeat, he decided to make one himself and came up with the Bionico hand. Hutchett's lightweight, comfortable design was taken from open source hardware and put together using 3D printed parts. It's a myoelectric prosthetic which works by picking up on tiny muscle contractions to generate movement. It's not yet capable of single finger movement or clenching a fist, but Hutchett is working on it. When he gets there, he'll be able to replicate everything that the top-of-the-market prosthetics offer, but at a fraction of the price. His design has been exhibited all over the world and may yet go on to become the new template of prosthetic hand design. Inventor Easton LaChapelle is the sort of once-in-a-lifetime genius who can do anything he sets his mind to. When he was a child, he took apart and reassembled his family's microwave. He created a working robotic arm for his 8th grade science fair. He was mostly showing off by creating it, but when he saw that a girl with a prosthesis take an interest in it, he realized he had an opportunity to help people, and he took it. Meeting the girl was a trigger for La Chapelle and he spent the next few years of his life working with 3D printing and robotics to come up with something commercially viable. That's when a charity approached him about a nine-year-old girl called Momo, who was an incredible swimmer but missing her right arm beneath the elbow. La Chapelle realized she'd be perfect for his first fully finished 3D printed prosthesis. 
and when he fitted it to her, it was flawless. Because it's 3D printed, it's matched to her skin tone, and as it was based on a scan of her left arm, it's the perfect shape and size. As the idea of 3D printing for prosthetics begins to catch on, so does publicity around the idea. Belinda Gatland found herself in the headlines recently when she became the first person in the history of the United Arab Emirates to be fitted with a 3D printed prosthetic leg. Belinda had lost the use of her left leg after a freak horse riding accident in her 20s, which led on to necrosis in the leg, ultimately requiring amputation. She then spent over a decade using expensive custom-built prosthetics, but she says her brand new 3D printed limb is the best one she's ever had. That's all down to the weight. 3D printing always provides a lighter alternative to conventional prosthetics, and so they place a lower weight burden on the wearer. With her new leg, Belinda feels much more natural riding on her horse, and has even been able to resume running to keep fit. She was also impressed by the fact it was printed out for her at her own home and then immediately fitted instead of requiring the casting and test socket process she'd become accustomed to. Cyclist Denise Schindler is a busy woman. She's one of the fastest paracyclists in the world and has a hectic competition schedule. She loves her 3D printed prosthetic leg, but if all she had the time to do were use it to race and let everybody know she was grateful for it, everybody would understand. Denise has a bigger heart than that. She wants other people to be able to benefit from the same level of care and expertise that went into the creation of her leg. She knows the cost of advanced prosthetics only too well. She'd been using them for most of her life since losing her right leg below the knee in an accident when she was only two. Now she's working with a 3D printing company called Autodesk to make low-cost 3D printed limbs a reality for anybody who needs them. Specializing in limbs for athletes, Autodesk's limbs are on average half the weight of their conventional equivalents and can be delivered in a matter of days rather than weeks. Of all the places that we've seen 3D printing used to make prosthetic limbs a reality, this might be the most important. Doctors Without Borders are now using the technology to build replacement limbs for adults and children injured by war in some of the most dangerous places on Earth. Their new center is based in Erbid, Jordan, and has been operating since 2017, but serves Syria, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Doctors within those countries can send scans of people with battlefield injuries to Jordan, and the Jordanian Center will respond by issuing them with custom-built 3D limbs as quickly as possible. It's the first of its kind in the Middle East, and is the only one directly serving conflict-affected areas like these. By using 3D printing to bring joy and meaning back into the lives of those who've suffered the worst of circumstances, the Doctors Without Borders are showing what it means to bring humanity and robotics closer together. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and enjoy watching new videos on my channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon!